Welcome back, Rich Nation. My name is AJ, and today we're going to be watching Season 2, Episode 9 of Mob Psycho. And holy hell, I thought we got twists on Episode 5, on Episode 7, but they flipped the script, they threw out the script, and then stabbed it. And we got literally killing his family. Like, I, I can't even believe that like it's unbelievable i'm still kind of reeling obviously i'm watching this almost immediately afterwards so i'm still reeling from it um i i can't believe it i don't want to believe it i i I don't know where they go from here, and that's all I have to say. I want to watch the episode. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, hit the notification bell, check out the Patreon if you want to see a couple episodes early, patreon.com slash AJRich123, and let's start this shit. It's just too damn shocking. It's like... Oh! It's fake? It's fake? Oh, thank God. Or is he lying? It is a possibility it could be fake. Was he saying something to calm himself? But that is a possibility. We, we have to think of this as a possibility. He could... You, I didn't really think about that because I was just so shocked from it. But there is a possibility that it, it could be fake. It, he could have used some type of an illusion or something like Dimple said. But that also might be something Dimple's just saying to make him feel better and get him out of it, which it did. But I, I, now I'm hoping for that. <laughs> yeah, he's... His emotions are, like, totally screwed. Um... Oh no, so the whole organization are after them. So they weren't the only place targeted. He... Right in just plain day. Or, well, night. Ooh. Mob has, like, bloodthirsty eyes right now. <laughs> Burn. Okay, he's in control enough to <laughs> to at least not kill him, but holy shit. This is like a different person. Wow. Mob is like, I don't give a... He's in I don't give a fuck mode. You... <laughs> it's like he's completely different which is understandable you can't say anything now how did he get back so fast <laughs> yeah Oh, he's not in claw anymore, so... So those guys are more on their side. See, he's, like, maximizing his powers right now. It's like he's never... He, like, suppresses them so much, he doesn't use all of it. I don't think he wants to have like a nice little chat. I mean, it changes hair. Okay, so it's not, wasn't just a straight up lie. He needed to say something in the situation, but I really think it's a possibility. How though? Who would be able to do that? I mean, it helps him. I know he's saying the right thing here, but who would be able to do that? But they're not members. That, yeah, they're not members anymore. <laughs> this is the mall. 
Master Reagan. I mean, they weren't weak. Oh, so they want to team up, obviously. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, do you have any other choice, though? I think you need to work with them. So they went after him as well. Of course, everybody that was there. That is bad timing. <laughs> <laughs> well, Teru got attacked too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, him. Yay. <laughs> okay, so he's okay. Oh, it's literally their only method, but will this guy even talk? Okay, he'll talk. <laughs> that was fast. Of course. <laughs> but what is that gonna... That's not gonna do anything, though. You know that. It's gonna do nothing. What is... <laughs> <laughs> that I love these um I, I love these little uh in the middle like breaks or whatever they're so creative uh this season but anyway I, this this episode so far has been very uh, oh man I, I I am really holding out for them still being alive even though like Dimple said that to make him feel better and make him not freak out. And then now Reagan is in, is like doubling down on it. Dimple did say that is a possibility. And I'm just I'm clinging to that because I just can't imagine R Ritsu. We saw him in season one and how strong he he is. I really think he could have held his own there. I, I I mean, we know the other guy is really strong, but I don't I don't know. It just it feels odd to me. Like, it feels... That's why I was so surprised when I saw it happen. I just don't believe it. They hadn't talked about Claw in forever. It's like they forgot about them for over half the season. What the hell is wrong with that guy's nose? Oh. That's useful. Okay, so he doesn't have full control over it then. So it's broadcasting on all TVs. Welp! It got serious. They... You go from just some school stuff to... Oh, uh, what the... Wait, 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 what? What is going on? And their parents not dead either. Uh, the fuck? I am so confused right now. Uh, so this is some type of... I'm sure it'll explain in a second, but I, I'm, I'm guessing this is some type of like... Why is he working together with him? And it sounds like they set it up for that. But does that mean they were talking before this? What is happening? He seemed evil, but he didn't seem that evil to literally burn everybody alive like that. Yeah, so that's okay. He's doing it because he's trying to draw him out, draw, make Mob really angry to send him after him or whatever. Now that makes a lot more sense. He wouldn't fight normally, is what he's thinking. I feel so much better that they're not dead. Like, I just feel better. 
まずカンブレンチを血祭りにあげるか They're all like on. They're all doing their own thing. How can you have an organization if you're all fighting each other and not on the same like level? Holy Jesus! So that's why they're going after each other. Inside job. What the hell is that? Damn. They're introducing so many people at once right now. And then they're all beat up already. Holy shit. Ultimates. Ah. Saw the number five on there. Some multiple ultimates. Was that they mentioned something with a um, umbrella? Was that the guy that had the umbrella in the crowd? It really killed the impact a bit now that they're nobody's dead. Like the threat feels smaller. It didn't feel like the tone of the show at all. Oh, they didn't even see. They didn't even see the threat at all. Um, what can this guy do? He looks like he should be like the main character of Steins Gate. Last thing you hear is El Sai Kongru. There's so much going on in this episode, like super fast all at once. Ah. He's fast. Oh. And he took. What is that? The prime minister. Holy, holy hell, guys. Um, that episode had so many things that happened in it in a short amount of time and so many characters introduced it's not normal to see we're we have what like four or five episodes left of this show and they just introduced like a truckload of characters all at once and then like uh multiple sides of the organization you know and then uh government trying to like uh destroy it by the from the ins this is what i got from this the, the government trying to destroy it from the inside and then uh, they like knew it was happening was able to easily defeat them now they're grabbing like the prime minister there's these five ultimates or whatever that are led by that kid's dad who's the leader of the organization what the fuck they shoved so much in this freaking episode but they also like they i i'm partly happy it's like i'm partly happy that it ended up being like bullshit of them being dead and it was just the kid trying to get mob he knew mob wouldn't fight normally without a uh like without something like that drastic happening to him so he but man is that like that's so bad like to make somebody go through something like that i'm glad ritsu and them didn't know about it but it's just i i i thought that was completely out of out of the show not that it like i it would have been interesting to see them go that route and killing them off because like it's just such a humongous twist it could work out but i i'm glad they didn't because it just didn't fit the tone like this show does get really emotional but to kill his entire family and do like all his development and kill it off is just 
such a twist on a show that I'm glad that they didn't end up actually doing. It, it made me, I was really, really like happy after we found that out because it just didn't feel right for the show. That was the only thing. Like it was interesting and I wanted to see where they went with it. But now that it's presented that they're not dead, I'm, I'm happy. I, I'm glad now because Mob deserves like he deserves to not go insane like like he doesn't deserve for his entire family to be burnt up like that um but now that mob saw that though that's still even though it didn't actually happen it still hurts your psyche to see that happen even if he finds out they're alive yes it's reassuring but man are you messing with people you know with somebody's mental state when you do that um but I, I, it's crazy that they, they're like trying to take over and do all this so fast. We forget about them for like over half the season. And then, then they just throw this, they throw this into taking over the, the entire world and area like this, this fast. It's, I just was not expecting like the end of last episode was just such a surprise. I, I think that, and I think overall, this is definitely getting really, really good. I, I'm just, it's hard to like when you go from slower and you know the build up we've had so much build up in this show to like literally spitting off things in like a 10 minute period and like oh this was this and then this was this and oh this person's beat oh here here here's an introduction of like 20 different people oh those people are beat already those people are beat that's what happened this entire episode um so that's why it was like kind of hard to like pick it all up at once um i'll probably rewatch a part of this before i continue you just so i can make sure i didn't miss anything uh but you as usual if i miss anything you can always let me know in the comments down below if it was something that happened and i missed i do appreciate that uh if you guys are new to the channel make sure you subscribe smash that like button hit that notification bell you can also check out the patreon at patreon.com slash aj rich one two three if you want to see uh early releases or uncut reactions i appreciate it thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time Bye bye